All right, so now that you have both your video created and your thumbnail created, let's go over to YouTube. So you're gonna come to your YouTube page and it might look something kind of like this with different videos, of course, because it'll put the videos that you watch around here and such. But if you come right up here in the upper right hand corner, we have what looks like a little video camera and a plus sign. Go ahead and click there and you can upload your video. Click upload video. And it's gonna take you into what's called YouTube Studio. And now I'm gonna go ahead and select the files. You can also drag and drop them. Okay, so, oh, there we are. All right, so here is my uh, video that we made for the project. I'm gonna go ahead and click open. Yeah, and this is where you're going to start editing some of the details. So you have a title that's required. Um, <clears throat> and this is, even though this is how to take a LinkedIn profile photo for my channel, this is actually um, going to be an example of the final project. So final project example. You can add a description here. Okay, and now we have thumbnail, and here we do, they did pick a couple of options for you to use. And sometimes this works out really well, sometimes um, it doesn't. You really don't have, a, don't have a choice of what thumbnails they choose, so that's why we create our own. So that's why I'm going to click here to upload the thumbnail that you created in Canva or whatever software you decide to use. Okay, so now that's going to be the thumbnail whenever anybody sees this video on YouTube. You can add it to a playlist if you'd like. Here it's going to ask you if it's made for kids or not. Mine is not made for kids. It's an adult uh, education. We have age restriction. So you can put to yes, restrict your viewers to over 18 or not. There's also more options when I click here. So if there was promotional, uh, paid promotional type of stuff in your video, you would click on here. You can add tags. So you can add some of like the keywords that should probably be, probably be in your title and your description and by the way for your description you can use up to I think 5,000 words so um, it's really important to fill this up I'm just doing this really quickly for you guys but if you want to add more stuff more topics that your video is about that's a great place to do it you can also add tags and there's also tips wherever you go. So tags can be useful if content in your video is commonly misspelled. So I have a LinkedIn, but I can also put linked with a space in, comma, and that will add it as a tag word, I mean as a tag as well. Okay, so you can put, I think usually they say you could put up to um, Five to ten tags is usually fine. Really depends on the topic. You can see here you can put up to 500 words. If you have a caption certificate, um, you probably won't. I always just put this content is never aired on television in the US. So this is more important if you were uploading videos that were already on TV before. You can add your recording date and location. So you can add Fresno, California. Since this is for this class, I'm gonna do Fresno City College. Licensing and distribution. 
So you can do a standard YouTube license or Creative Commons attribution. There are different types. So if you're going to become a, you know, start using YouTube a lot, I would definitely say go ahead and take a, a moment to look at these. I'm going to go ahead and stick with attribution. So if anybody uses this video, they just have to attribute it back to me. I am going to allow embedding. If you want, you can publish to subscriber feed and notify subscribers. I'm going to turn that off for myself. Here you can pick what category this goes in. I'm going to leave mine in education. For comments and ratings, you can you do have some different um, options here. You can allow any comments, hold potentially inappropriate comments, hold all comments for review, or disable comments altogether. This is completely up to you on what you want to do. I'm going to leave mine on hold potentially inappropriate comments. This is how they, you would want your comments sorted. You can do it by the top comments or the newest. You can also click on whether you want to see how many viewers like and dislike this video. So you can turn that on or off as you want. Click next. This is not required for this assignment, but you can add end screens and add cards for related content into your video from here if you wanted. I'm going to click next. I also have this visibility. So um, <clears throat> you can keep your uh, videos private so you they could, people can only see them if you allow them to. You can keep it unlisted so anyone with a link can watch the video. You can make it public so anybody can see your video. This is totally up to you on what you want to do for this project. You do need to at least do it as unlisted so that you can copy the link and turn in the turn in your project via link. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it as that and hit save. And now it is uploading and it says video published. Here is the link for it. So if I click here, it's going to open up in another window. And there's the video. So now we can go ahead and share this. And you can share it multiple ways. You can actually embed HTML code, share it through any of these. Uh, there's more options here. Email. You can copy the link as well. So for your assignment, you'll be copying the link so that you can paste it into the assignment window to turn in. All right, not too bad.